What's up guys, welcome back. Thank you for checking in on this video. And in this video, I'm gonna actually get rid of my computer. I don't know what else to do at this point. So yeah, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this guy right there, the HP Omen 30L. And uh, it's been a bit of a mixed decision for me of whether I wanted to do that or not. But with the announcement of Apple's new M1 chips for their MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and Mac Mini, it has me thinking a little bit, and specifically about iOS development or app development uh, for, for the App Store. And unfortunately, with a Windows computer, that's not something that you can currently do. Dang it. Uh, so, I felt even though that this is an amazing computer, it's done me extremely well since I've had it. I have zero complaints about it, and if you guys like to check, take a look at this, of course, there's gonna be a link in the description, or maybe I'll put one of those cards up there in the, in the channel uh, to where you can go check out my initial unboxing and review of the HP Omen 30L and pick up one for yourself. But for me specifically, I know that portability is really critical, but more importantly, with the new M1 chips, I mean, they're getting pretty exciting with some of the things that Apple is stating that they, that they can do. Um, one of which is massive, massive battery consumption reduction um, to kind of help with the efficiency and the performance of it. Um, on top of that, a lot of other things, and I'll, I'll probably play a lot of that on the screen right now for you guys, um, but in short, it's been a minute since I talked with you guys last, so I, again, I appreciate you kind of coming back and checking out what's going on with me and this channel so far. Um, as you know, really interested in, in pursuing game development to some degree, but also more importantly, uh, recently, uh, an iOS side of that. So um, I've grown quite fond of developing this game within the App Store, and that requires Swift, which is the platform that you build apps off of, and it's exclusive to Mac. So, with me having a Windows computer currently, I, I really don't know what else I'm supposed to do at this point. Um, I have an iPad Pro, I have an iPhone, and I mean, heck, might as well just complete the whole family and get an, a, a MacBook Pro or the new MacBook Air and max it out. Um, something to where it's gonna be a good, long-lasting computer and I can really take it with me in places and also develop this game and this app uh, wherever I go. So I'm not constricted to the the, uh, the bedroom here with my computer being a desktop, which again, love it, but there's portability versus uh, not being portable. It's as really simple as that. So um, I just want to reconnect with you guys and let you guys know that I'm still developing the app uh, or, or the game, I should say, of course, and really diving deep into learning how to code specifically on the iOS development side of it. You know, of course, you can go the full stack route where you're doing the front end and the back end, but uh, that's a whole nother conversation for another day but want to just reconnect with you guys and let you know that on this channel i'm still going to continue to press for uh, the development of a game indie game specifically around ios so i think if you guys like that kind of thing or if you like coding uh, being an ios developer um, i'm not saying i am one but i think it would be really cool to track that journey of mine and show you what somebody who has absolutely zero knowledge um I mean, heck, I could probably say a couple things, uh, like a couple terms for iOS development coding terminology, but that's really it. So somebody who has almost zero knowledge um, to iOS development, specifically designing around a game, and then see where this journey goes. And uh, for that reason, I'm excited. And I hope you guys continue to support me and subscribe. And uh, if you like the iOS development side of it, I think you should totally subscribe and like this, like this video. And say something in the comments below because YouTube really likes that and so do I. Uh, but I think you're going to get a big kick out of kind of what's coming up next as far as the development of uh, my knowledge base with Swift and Xcode. Uh, which are the platforms, like I said before, where you develop these apps from. And also turning that knowledge into an asset. So if you like that kind of thing, then go ahead and smash the subscribe button. And I see it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. If you're still watching this, I love you. Um, but yeah, you know, so hang out with me a little bit longer. I'm going to upload a little bit more often. Um, I wanted to get this video out to you guys just as a brief update of what's going on and, and why I've been prolonging posting over the last couple of days. I'm really trying to sell this computer and pick up one of the new M1 chips from Apple 
uh, within probably the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air. I, I'm trying to figure out the configuration changes there and a few other things. So moving forward, a lot of cool excitement coming up, uh, exciting uh, videos coming up around game development and iOS development total. So if you guys are a big nerd like me and you like tech kind of stuff, then stay sub subscribed. Learn how to speak, Corey, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for checking out, and I will see you soon.